left a few things. Ready for another adventure. Ready for another adventure. I hope you really like that drone footage you just saw. I really do hope because I'm recording this before I shot it. <laughs> so <laughs> we are going on a drone tour of a crane city in China. This city, uh, me and Jim, as a matter of fact, have passed by on a number of occasions. We have seen this city from the uh, highway, and every time I pass by, what do I say? I gotta shoot that on the drone. I gotta get the drone above that. Yeah. I mean, it is an entire city that's just before, if you guys know China, uh, we're in Ningbo, China. Shanghai is uh, north of here by a fast train and a highway bridge. If you wanna drive, you go over the Hangzhou Bay Bridge. How long, how long is that? It's like 30, yeah, it's 35 really long. kilometers long. Really long. Used to be the longest bridge in the world. Just before you leave and, and head over the water, there's a city that's being built off to the side. And when I say it's a city being built, it is, it is an entire city. I mean, like, there's like an event center, there's like a plaza, there's, I mean, from what I can see, and there's huge high-rise apartment buildings. And they all have these beautiful, yellow sky cranes hanging up above them and i was like man that would be an amazing place to throw the drone up so jim has his you've got the the got field the camera yeah. he's got the big camera uh he's a photographer he takes film shots and then i've got the drone he's got a couple of friends what, tell me about your friends um jay and lawson are a couple of local ningbo photographers young guys and they want to tag along and they're our chauffeur for today so yeah it yeah, yeah. Out great it works out good they've arranged a car so we've got like sort of carte blanche and we got a couple of Chinese fellas that are with us to make sure that we don't get uh, into any trouble along right. the way. Hopefully they brought the bail money. Hopefully they brought the bail money. It's gonna be fun. So uh, let's go on a journey to uh, an a, a drone journey to a crane city in China. First, some coffee. Do you guys know of Starbucks Reserve? Starbucks Reserve is like a subcategory of Starbucks, like a fancy category. And so, uh, they're sort of separate but equal. Like the downstairs here is a reserve and they only give you like really, really fine brewed coffee, like hand brewed. The only way you can get the normal coffee is to go upstairs. Anyways, that's not the most important part of today's journey. Just a little factoid. <laughs> I'm actually quite excited. It is gonna be a fantastic day. I hope you guys enjoy the Chongqing series of videos. I think this is gonna be the first one shot post Chongqing journey, so. When are you gonna view this video? I don't know. But I have been looking forward to photographing uh, and videographing, vide videoing, making video about this uh, crane city for months. I hope, I hope the cranes are still up. They've been building a lot and I haven't seen it in like a month. And China moves really fast as far as these construction projects and maybe they're finished with the whole sky crane segment of the, of the construction. So I hope not. Either way, we're gonna find out. Mooncakes already. Does that seem a little early? Do you like mooncakes? I like some mooncakes. Yes, most, egg in the middle is pretty good. Yeah, most mooncakes. I still always... think they should make apple pie mooncakes. Or chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. something for a Western oh taste, yeah. Because the consistency of it is yeah. pretty good. They're yeah. squishy and... You can make a nice yummy. crust on it. Oh but my God. Put some apple pie in there and I'm all over that. Yeah, and mooncakes are typically around like mid-autumn uh, festival. Kind of early for mooncakes, but you'll see them everywhere pretty soon. They're uh, they're pretty good. They're chewy, but the the flavor isn't as sweet as uh, most Westerners would like. You want hot or cold? Hot, hot, hot. Not as sweet as most Westerners would like. They put some caramel, some chocolate. All right, we have a member of the Musketeers. Introduce yourself. Uh, Lawson. Lawson. That's Lawson. He's a drone pilot. And a photographer, right? Uh, also a fan of you. <laughs> and a fan of the Jayo Nation. Jayo! <laughs> All right, now we get in the car and we head to, uh, to the destination. It should be a couple hour ride. We're leaving. This, this place is Cheese Park, which is pretty interesting. I might make a video about Cheese Park one day. The name is deceiving. It used to be the old Ningbo newspaper uh, building and um, it has been repurposed into a mall with all sorts of stuff. There's a, there's a horse stable on the top of the building. It's pretty crazy. So are you from Ningbo? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, I'm local people. Born and raised? Uh, but uh, from the countryside. From the countryside? Yeah. Like uh, Ninghai? Uh, no, 
Ushan. Ushan? Ushan. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi, man. How's it going? Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, well, yeah. let's go on a little adventure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's go. Oh, thanks. Can I sit in the front? Is that yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go Are ahead. you driving? Yeah, I'm driving. Okay. okay. So what kind of pictures are you planning to take today? Hopefully pictures of cranes, dude. <laughs> pictures, <That'd be> <laughs> hopefully the cranes are there. But whatever the case, even the, the uniformity yeah, of the all of these new constructed buildings can make for some really beautiful pictures. So on these trucks, you have to paint the uh, license plate number on the back of, the, of, the, of the, uh, any big vehicle. Yeah. And my friend, he bought, he has a factory, he makes firefighting equipment. And uh, <laughs> he bought this really, really beautiful like Toyota Tacoma yeah, or something, like a really, really nice pickup truck. And so the guys from the government came <laughs> and they started painting and he argued with, hey, 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 stop it, stop it. Let me paint it. I'll even make it really nice letters, you know? And they're like, nope. <laughs> so they painted a, the tailgate of his beautiful brand new Toyota. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was so unhappy. <laughs> they ruined my truck. We're approaching the city right now. I don't see as many sky cranes as before. It's it's an interesting city from what I've heard, what I've been told, it's basically built around the construction, uh, built around a uh, factory district that produces stuff for Volkswagen. There's a lot of people that were working in these factories and stuff, and so they built up the city around it. Like an entire place built around a single, sort of like Hershey, Pennsylvania, right? You have that Hershey factory and then the whole factory too. You know, the whole city was built around the fact that uh, Hershey's was there. That's actually a great, if you guys want to read a book, the, uh, the Emperors of Chocolate or something. It's a very, very good book. It talks about the rise of Hershey's and Mars and the, the two kind of rivalries between, uh, between them. When I was uh, lived in, like, I lived in suburban America. If we had a sky crane come up, <laughs> it was big news. Yeah. It was like, holy moly, they're building something over four stories. This is going to be big. <laughs> this is going to change the whole city landscape, you know? But here it's just, like I said, it's like a forest of cranes. They're not going to change the city. They're going to build the city. Right. This is another thing I was interested in because I knew that there was a river. so. The bridges were recently built too, so they're probably really, really nice. Like that blue color must look really, really nice from the air. Right. This place is interesting, it's like in flux. Uh, if we would have come a month ago, two months ago, I imagine it would be in more of a constructed state. But because we're coming now, 
You have almost more mix, right? You have stuff that's 100% finished, then you have stuff that's 100. Oh, oh no. Speaking of 100% finished. Sheesh. must have been moving. Well, <laughs> if they don't look like they're panicking, it looks like. <laughs> Holy moly. No, he hit by himself ah. to the curb. Oh. Must be, right? Because there's no, no other car with skid marks. Well, there. maybe they towed away the other yeah, car. There was yeah. definitely oh, something. That's a T-bone. Yeah, 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 yeah. His yeah, entire yeah. rear wheel got cut off. <laughs> He's taking photo too. <laughs> <laughs> the tow truck driver. I mean, that guy lost a wheel. Sheesh. <laughs> Anyways, there's uh, the city's has like completed stuff. Uh, in transition stuff and then like empty land stuff it's uh it's 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 pretty interesting I, like jim was saying like we need to learn a little bit more about this place it's got probably an interesting backstory like this area we're in right now it's like city hall it's like totally finished Right here is an interesting spot. We stopped here. You've got uh, construction in process. You've got open land. You've got the buildings coming up. And then in the foreground, you've got some finished buildings. And then you got the migrant camps. These are where all the workers are coming in from all over China to build this entire city. This, this entire area is all homes. And then uh, this area over here is all. Jim, yes. what'd you get? A few photos. What'd you take? One roll down. Okay. <laughs> Abstract construction photos. You know, that scaffolding is bamboo. Yeah. That is actual uh, bamboo. Most right. of the time they've been doing like uh, galvanized like it, piping. Like it's a hybrid. They might yeah. have galvanized low and bamboo high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen, I don't see a lot of bamboo uh, scaffolding these days, so it's kind of neat to see. All right, moving on. Maybe lunch? We'll shoot up Did you get pile. any shots? All right, just. Oh, 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 that's. This is sort of like a Polaroid almost. Yeah. Cool, cool. Is that Instax? Oh, uh, yes, Instax 7. What are you shooting with? Koda. Ah, uh, Extra. What? That's a Bronica. You mean the film? Yeah. Cool. I have an Extra 100. I am way out of my league here. <laughs> <laughs> way out of my league. I just got a, I got a flying machine. That's what I got. <laughs> Just shapes, construction, shadows, light, a little of everything. There's some cool shots here. Who's our friend? He's uh, he's my new best friend. <laughs> he gave us the download on this whole place. Too. What do you say? Well, he says it's built. All the apartments are built by a private contractor, and they're <laughs> selling them independent of the um, car companies. But there's already two car companies, and they're going to try to sign up more car companies. So this is going to be like Detroit. This is <laughs> the Detroit killer <laughs> of uh, China. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. The Detroit killer. <laughs> Yikes. Wow. Very, very cool. Moving on. Bye bye.
there's all sorts of like, I don't know if these are commercial or residential. I think that they're probably residential, these brick buildings. Like a bit of a higher end place to stay. So you've got like the smaller apartment. Oh, gotta buckle up. So you've got the, the more expensive luxury uh, townhouses here, but you also have the, uh, the, the smaller apartment complexes. It's, it's gonna be an interesting community. Probably people that work on the factory floor of these, uh, these automotive factories, and then you got the executive village. But uh, the bricks here, so, you know, you hear, you hear all these rumors that Chinese build crap, you know? It's so crazy. They build so much stuff Maybe, maybe way back in the day it was, it was crappy, right? You know, and they build so much that obviously you're going to have some builders that don't do a good job. But I think today, man, Chinese can whip up some amazing, amazing buildings. And, and they put them up fast and they put them up really nice. You know, when you repeat something, over, what is that saying? You repeat something 10,000 times and you oh, become yeah. a, a genius at it or a master? That's they are the there. Guard said it's supposed to be done by the end of this year. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm glad we got out here now. Yeah, no Is he riding a bicycle? He's riding a bicycle. The buildings back here are being sold. I'm told that this whole area, this whole city is pretty much sold out. But so what they do is they set up like placeholder places. Like here's a. Here's a placeholder theater. I wonder what's going on there, but it's pretty cool. You've got a placeholder like laundromat and coffee shops and all sorts of stuff. This place is very cool. Come over here. Look at this. Look at this place. So it is a theater. It's a dinner theater. It's a disco. Wow, this place is a, this place is so neat. This is a totally different feeling from outside. Yeah, no kidding. Like, this I feel like I've walked into a totally to another world. <laughs> you know, every place has a story. I wonder what the story is with this place. Oh, <laughs> The beer is on the rocks. Belgium. Belgium. Nice Belgium beer. Well, they have pictures upstairs that say the 1920s, so they're trying to look like the 1920s-ish. Yeah, yeah. 